morning and welcome back to a brand new vlog so it is sunday today and honestly i vlogged yesterday and i just like i just wasn't happy with it i was having like a really down day yesterday where i just felt kind of upset like a few things happened at home which like was a bit upsetting and i just didn't feel like great but i wanted to vlog anyway and it just like it was not good like i want to upload it but it just really was not good i feel like people think that like youtube is just like a happy all the time when realistically we're just like normal people like we live a very blessed life i know i live a such a blessed life um but i still get upset just like other people because like it's the same thing has happened in my life as it does in yours so yeah yesterday we were just having like a bit of like trouble and stuff but hopefully it'll be okay now but i, st I still tried to pick up the camera and vlog but i just like i couldn't do it so i thought you know what i'm just not gonna vlog yesterday and i'll just start a new vlog today because i've woken up i feel so much better i probably look a bit rough i'm not gonna lie because i just shoved my hair back but i do feel so much better today i've got a driving lesson i've got it at half past two and it's now like half past ten i've just put a video live and i'm just sat replying to all of your comments and i need to go get a bath and i need to wash my hair although we're having trouble with the hot water basically our boiler's like it's not like completely broken but it's broken like we can't run really that much hot water without it then shutting off it's really confusing and it basically is broken so it takes us ages to run a bath because we have to like try and get it to the right temperature and stuff so i need to try and do that now which is probably going to take me a while um because we're waiting for our boilers to get fixed but i am going to do that and i need to wash my hair all before my driving lesson and dry it because i don't want to go with wet hair I, I definitely have time but honestly when i wash my hair it takes so long to dry and just oh yeah it's so annoying my hair also goes so frizzy and I still yet to use that hair treatment that the lovely girl bought me because honestly I just haven't had the time to sit and properly do it for myself but that's what I'm going to do today because I really really need to do it my hair has like suddenly had a growth spurt though like it's suddenly just grown a lot like I hadn't seen Tanita in a while and I saw her for the first time a few days ago and the first thing she said to me was your hair's gotten so long and I was like oh my god like i've been using like mane and tail uh, shampoo and conditioner and that's meant to help grow your hair and i was like maybe that is actually working then because i thought to myself as well like anna your hair's getting quite long now and i really want my lot like, i really want long hair like long as possible really um so yeah apparently my hair's getting longer and a lot of people have said to me that it looks blonder as well which i'm guessing has been the sun because i haven't dyed it although i do want to get it dyed pretty soon it's just like the same color just like a refresh you know when like you just need to feel like fresh again that's basically all i feel like i've got to update you guys on nothing else has really happened i am like really unhappy with my vlogs at the moment which i want to also talk to you guys about because yeah i don't know really i'm just really unhappy with them honestly like at the moment i just feel like my vlog content hasn't been what i want them to be like i want my vlogs to be really good i want to pick up the camera more and it's kind of like it might be weird to understand because obviously i've been vlogging for a long time now like i've been vlogging for nearly a year but i still get shy to pick up the camera sometimes when i'm with people even though they're like the, the people i'm most comfortable around i still just get kind of weird about picking up the camera and i don't know why it's something that i need to get out of because i need to vlog more and not just be like okay so i'm doing this and then i don't vlog it and then i just come back and then i vlog and i'm very aware of that and i really want to improve it so i'm going to try my hardest i feel like i've got better at it recently but it's been really playing on my mind because i'm so happy with my main channel content but my vlogging channel content i'm not as happy with and i also want to start doing more vlogs i'm not happy with just uploading like two vlogs a week i want to upload like vlogs either every day or every two days so that is what i'm really working on i'm really working on the vlog content really working on doing stuff for you guys i've got exciting stuff coming up which should make really good vlogs so fingers crossed we can get some good vlog content but yeah other than that i feel like that genuinely is all i have to update you on i just had a sandwich i had one of those like joe and the juice remake things although this is so annoying this is so gross i like squeezed this really tightly and all the pips of the tomato fell out on my bed and i just had to scoop every single one of them up and put them back on the plate so that just happened uh, and i think that's pretty much it i was also watching pretty little lives this morning whilst i was in bed i missed that show so much and i cannot wait for the perfectionist and that down definitely is all i have to update you on so yesterday this was so so lovely basically if you guys have seen i did a main channel video where i tested ebay prom dresses and i actually gave some of them to my nan's friend pam and so lo so so lovely of her she bought me some flowers to say thank you and she wrapped them all up in this like wrapping paper and put a bow on them and then these are the peonies which have started to open out now and i love peonies and then i don't know what these are called um but they're really really pretty and i'm just about to put these in this vase here because i have like fake 
fake flowers in here which i'm obviously going to keep for when these die out but because these ones are from the body shop and then these ones are just a load of ones from ikea but i love fresh flowers so i'm just going to pop these into this vase which i got from tiger for like 1.99 so cute oh my gosh what's that Oh my, oh my lord, that's disgusting, I need to go wash it. Oh my gosh, they look so, so pretty. I'm trying to show you so like you can actually see in the sunlight how nice they look. Like, don't get me wrong, I love my false flowers. Like, I think they look nice and stuff, but I don't think you can ever be when you get real flowers in a room. Like, when you just look at my room as an overall now, it just looks so pretty. It's made me want to like film a video because of like how cute it would look in the background. Yeah, I basically think they look really nice. So thank you so much, Pam, for those. I haven't actually bought myself real flowers or had flowers bought me literally since my birthday i think so thank you so much i honestly just don't really buy flowers anymore because i had false ones but i love them especially the peonies oh my god i've just gotten out of the bath and i've just finished washing my hair but as you can see it has actually got like a lot lot longer and i'm going to use some of this on it it's the ogx coconut oil spray and it's so good it's really helpful for if you've got knotty hair it's not actually a detangler but it just detangles my hair really really nicely it also smells really really good yeah. i don't put too much yeah. in because i don't want to like cover my hair in loads of product but it's really really nice and i also know you're not meant to brush your hair while it's wet but i do have to brush it a little bit as it's just impossible to dry because like i said it does go so naughty sprays of it all over oh my god oh. And basically when I dry my hair, I don't actually fully dry it. I just start it off with the hair dryer so it like doesn't dry too knotty. Because honestly, I swear to God, if I left my hair like this, I could not brush it. Now that I've done my hair, I'm going to do my skincare. So I use this all over my face. This is the Garnier Skin Active Botanical Soothing Moisturiser. This is so nice. It's not like a moisturiser. And so it's like really really soft you have to kind of scoop it out and it's like quite hard but it's amazing you can i think you can use this as a face mask actually oh yeah day night mask i don't really know but i use it as a moisturizer it's so good like i keep saying amazing but it honestly does leave my face feeling so moisturized and when you blend it it just feels like it's very thick like i will say that if you're not into like a thick moisturizer then i wouldn't go for this but I really like feeling so moisturised. Like when I touch my skin, it's really soft. So for me, this one is perfect. Amber actually got it for me for my birthday. But it is, I think it is quite expensive. I think it's like, if you get it on offer, you can get it for like £8. But then if you don't, it's like 13 But Amber got it for me in October and I've used it, I'd say like for a solid three months. And it's only gone down that much. So it will last you a long time if you do really want it. And the next one that I'm going to use is from It Cosmetics. And this is the secret source miraculous moisturizer and it's like specifically for your eye area and for this one i just get a little bit on my nail just pop it underneath my eye and then i'll put a little bit on my eyelid as well but it's because my eyes i tend to get really bad dark circles and this has really really helped it although you're meant to just dab it in underneath the skin on your eye because skin is so thin I don't want to damage it so I'm just going to gently dab it in and then that is basically my skincare routine done if I wasn't going out then I would put some Mario Badescu lotion on but because I've got a driving lesson I'm not going to go with all that on my face so I'm just going to let all this soak in and then I don't really know what to do with my hair today if I put it in French braids it will go curly so I don't really want that so maybe we'll opt for a ponytail when my hair is actually fully dry I've got a couple of hours before my driving lesson so I'm going to finish my Pretty Little Lies episode that I'm on I haven't watched up to series 5 by the way I just started on series five again this morning and i've also got one of my hershey's chocolate milks from costco addicted it's about half an hour before my driving lesson now and i've just finished putting my hair up it's gone so frizzy i can't deal i thought by like hair drying it i didn't know what i was going to say then i thought by hair drying it it wouldn't go frizzy and it has and there's atticus what are you doing are oh, you giving me a cuddle oh bubs love you you too i know Yes. What happened if you pass this time? Well, I'm not doing my driving test, Attica, because I've just got a lesson. What happened? Why do you have a lesson? Because I learned to drive. What happened if you do this one? Then I'll be a better driver. Um, and then, and then you need to get some money to buy a car. Exactly, Attica, so you're only, very only smart. Only if you pass. Only if I pass. And if you don't, you need to do two more. Why two more? 
No, if you don't pass this one, you might have to do one more. Yeah. Yeah, because I hope you pass. For my dinner tonight, I've got the meatball and pasta like bake thing that I got from Costco. It looks so good and there's also so much left as well. So like I was saying, we will be able to have this for more than one night and mum's got some as well. But it looks amazing. That was worth every single penny. I cannot even comprehend how hot I am tonight. Literally, it's so muggy and I know I've got a jumper on. I just put it back on because I did take it off, but I just thought, no, can't vlog in the nude. So I do need to put a jumper on. So I just put my jumper on and basically, I was trying to tell you guys, obviously, how I drive an by the way, that went really well. I just did like independent driving so I can improve on my driving for when I'm, obviously she was in the, like the car with me and stuff, but so I can improve on my driving when I'm obviously past my test and stuff. So we did that and that was really, really good. And we just had such a good idea. And because we're just having like a throwback chat like we're just talking about all of our old memories and stuff we were like okay we need to react to a diary that we made when we were in year eight and i said to you guys like should i react to it for a main channel video and all of you said yes but amber was like why don't we do it for your vlog so if you do want to see that please give this video a thumbs up because i swear to god amber hasn't been in the video in ages and i know you guys want her in the video so bad but we also really want to react to it so i've just asked her when she wants to do it so let me just see when she's put i just said whenever she's free she can come round. Perfect, she's going to come around this week. So let me know if you guys want to see that. I mean, we'll do it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm just in like a pretty happy mood. I've like planned some video ideas, feeling pretty motivated. I've got the Vloggersphere Awards on Friday, which is really exciting. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to win because I don't think I'm the best vlogger. Um, but I'm still really excited. I'm going with Sophie, who is um, nominated for Best Beauty YouTuber as well. 100% she's going to win it. She is, I honestly, I love Sophie's videos. I think they're amazing. They're one of my favourite, like she's actually one of the only beauty gurus that I watch. So I love her videos. But yeah, that's basically all I've got to update you guys on. I mean, I don't think I'm going to end my vlog now because I'm not going to bed yet. I don't really know what I'm going to do, to be honest. I think I need to ask you guys some things that I should start doing in my vlogs because I feel like this content just isn't entertaining enough. Like I haven't done enough stuff today. All I've done is sit and talk and update you guys on my life. I've just come downstairs to get some water in a mug because classy. And how cool is this mug? Mum got it from Urban Outfitters and she was... Did Mum, did you get this mug from Urban Outfitters actually? Yeah, you did the pink one. It's really nice. Really like it. So true. And yes, that was a fire alarm. Sorry. <laughs> also, just so you, to update you guys, as this is like an update vlog, this is currently Atticus's little egg that he's trying to hatch. It's really cool. What's meant to be inside of it? An alien. An alien. There you go. I shall show you the finished alien. I'm just come out of its shell tomorrow in tomorrow's vlog. I think I'm now going to end tonight's vlog as I'm just going to chill in bed and watch some YouTube. I've actually got really bad growing pains in my boobs. I don't know if I've ever like spoken about this, but I actually have one bigger boob that's like significantly bigger and I've got growing pains in the smaller one so I'm hoping this means it's going to even out but they're really really bad growing pains and when I touch it it's really tender so I'm going to go to well I'm not going to go to bed I'm going to get in bed and watch some YouTube so thank you so much for watching I really hope you guys have enjoyed if you did please smash a huge thumbs up I promise that the vlog content is going to go up I feel like I say that so much but I really am going to try my hardest I love you all so much and I will see you tomorrow at 6pm for a brand new vlog bye